when the narcissist sees that you're strong. When they see that you're able to withstand force, pressure or wear. When they see that you're not easily disturbed, upset or affected. You're no longer susceptible to their manipulation because you're aware of them. You're familiar with them. You have developed experience, knowledge and good judgment. You are confident. You are self-assured. Which are all things that the narcissist cannot accept. It intimidates them. It gives them an inferiority complex. Because you're the type of person who celebrates their strengths and challenges their weaknesses. You feel good about yourself and your life. You're well balanced and sensible. But that will not stop the narcissist. They're still going to come after you. It doesn't matter if you're vulnerable or strong. The narcissist will still try to break you. They have to elevate themselves at your expense. They have to put you down so that they can feel better about themselves. You may have been wise enough to not fall for their false demonstrations of affection. So it may have been difficult for them to gain control of you in that aspect. But they had another way to get what they want. And they did that by playing the victim. By making you feel bad for them. By telling you that you are the only one who can help them. which then made them feel like there was something significant to you. If the narcissist sees that you're weak, they will be strong. They will be dominant. They will bully you. They will intimidate you. But if they see that you're strong, they will pretend to be weak. They will play the victim. They will do whatever it takes to gain control over you. Just to put themselves in a better position to break you. They will act like they're this damsel in distress. This person who is in danger or trouble and needs your help. And then once you've rescued them and you've nursed them back to health. They will turn against you. They will become hostile. They will hate you. They will be unsympathetic. After they've already persuaded you to invest all of your resources into rescuing them and helping them to recover. They will do whatever it takes to destroy you. Because it inflates their ego. It makes them feel like they're stronger and better than you. They may not have accomplished or achieved anything in their lives. But they know that you have, so they will try to compete with you. They will try to sabotage whatever you're doing so that they can create this false impression that they are high and mighty. They are the top dog who has conquered you. They will strip you of everything you have and then they will dispose of you.
when the narcissist sees that you're strong. They may be forced to accept that they can't get to you directly. So instead, they will target your family and friends. They will use other people to learn more about you and to gain access to your life. They will use other people to control you. Because if you're strong and sensible, you will reject the narcissist at some point. You will recognize what they're trying to do, but you will not accept it. You will not tolerate it. So then they have to go and target your family and friends. They have to talk to other people behind your back in an attempt to turn them against you. When you have rejected a narcissist, they will want other people to reject you. They will want you to go for the same thing that they did, only worse. It's not enough for the narcissist to hate you. It's not enough for them to betray you. They want everyone else to be a carbon copy of them. They want other people to follow in their footsteps and continue where they left off. Which is why they will smear your name. They will assassinate your character. They will make false accusations about you. They will try to abuse you financially. They will do whatever it takes to bring you down because they can't accept that you are more valued and respected than they are. They can't accept that you are strong because they want to control you. So they need you to be weak, which is why they will try to dominate you because they can't stand to see you doing better than them. And they hate it when people don't validate the illusions of their false self. They hate your strength. They hate your confidence. They hate your independence. They can't stand it, which is why they will try to steal things from you. They will try to break you down. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.